Okay, so I just wanted to come on here really quickly because as you guys know, in every video we do a $500 donation to charities that you guys have chosen. And originally when I filmed this video, I had a different charity for this video, but I'm going to move that charity into next week's videos because I think that we would all agree that it's very important that our donation today goes to help Ukraine. I feel like a lot of you would have already heard what's going on in Ukraine and I already shared it over on my Instagram a few days ago. If you don't know what's going on in Ukraine, I definitely suggest Googling it and educating yourself. Warning, it is very, very scary, but it is real life and it's happening to people right now. So I think it's very important that we redirect our donation this week to help Ukraine. I'm gonna do some research and figure out where we should be donating it to. And on top of the regular 500, I'm also gonna be matching it myself. The best thing I know how is to bring awareness and do a donation. I didn't feel comfortable posting this video unless I acknowledged what was happening in the world right now. And I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. We are in the kitchen today and I got my dad because today is demo day. So I needed the strongest guy in the house so I got myself and then I looked for the weakest to counteract my dad. So today we are going to be ripping out these cabinets back here because I would like to do open shelving. And then you can probably also see they have a backsplash, or I guess not they. We could we know. call this exhibit A? This could be exhibit A. The backsplash could be exhibit B. Okay, exhibit B needs to get ripped out as well because the backsplash is nice, but you guys probably know it doesn't really go with the new decor and I don't really like it that much, but that's what we're doing today. Power tool. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. Should I take the shelves out? You do whatever you want. It's your show. By the way, you guys, I'm not sick. I just have an allergy to paint and I've been painting a lot. You got that? No, that's good. Okay. Okay, great. I think we pretty much have And this came one. down, which I needed to get down anyway. Perfect. <laughs> so now this is down. We can see how much damage the backsplash is going to be. We start here. And everyone say a little hoping prayer, okay? Oh. <laughs> one at a time. This is going to take a while. Hey! Oh! There we go. Nice! One eternity later. No! <laughs> Mom. I can't see what's happening. You're not gonna want to see this, girl. Why? What is what's happening? <gasps> what's going on? Can I just say one thing? The way we are working around these open electrical outlets is so dangerous. Like, please don't try this at home the way we're doing it. I almost feel like it's a good idea to turn off power where you're working. Cause like we're bouncing around these electrical outlets and I'm just like, is this safe? All right, you guys. So the backsplash is completely off. We definitely broke through the drywall in multiple spots, mainly over there. That is a hot mess. Not excited to patch there. I don't know what we're doing next. I gotta get the dust out of this room. Otherwise I will be sneezing all day. So yes. We're picking out paint. Between the demolition and now has been like two and a half months. We have lots of paint colors to grab today. Here they are. Ooh, do they all look the same? <laughs> <laughs> These are basically one shade different. But we have cabinets, cabinets, this color, and this color. Just worry about the cabinet colors for now. And then we also need to get a primer. We're doing a lot. We're gonna complete the kitchen. Yay. So, I'm excited about that. Let's go get it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, you guys. Paint suit, check. Paint, check. 
dad putting on the edges? <laughs> Check. Checkeroonie. So basically what he's putting those up for is if you're doing tiling, it holds the tiles in place. And I was actually thinking about this last night. Hold on. If you guys were at all interested in seeing a step-by-step -step how I, as a not professional, tile and how you could tile at home and have it look good at the end product and have it withstand the test of time, I can definitely do an in-depth tutorial of that. But in this video, we're just gonna be kind of flying through the reno from start to finish. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint some of the cabinets in the garage, which is gonna be a pretty lengthy process because I'm gonna fight every urge in my body to flip them before they're done drying. Basically, I wanna hide it so I don't look at it, so I forget about it, so I give it the time to dry. So we're gonna pop all the cabinets off. Look at this oil build up. Ooh, oil build up. TSP is a very, very important step. One thing too that I didn't mention is you may have noticed the bottom cabinets are square, almost like shaker style. Then the upper cabinets are a little bit different. They have like this squiggly line at the top, which in my opinion does date them a little bit. So I was thinking, what's like a cost effective way to make them look a little bit more modern, but I don't want to replace all of the cabinets because that can be very pricey, as you guys probably know. So I decided I would use all of the cabinets, bases, and the faces of the bottom ones, and then just get new faces for the top ones that match the bottom ones. So I ordered those quite a long time ago, which is good because they literally took like two months to get here. I had to measure all of the sizes, which I'm still just hoping I measured them right, like my fingers are crossed. But here those are, and they're primed, so I'm very excited, they're gorgeous. So stay tuned to see if this worked. And for anyone wondering, the cabinets that we're not using, we will just donate to like restore, and they will repurpose them or sell them, and then the money will go to charity. So it's a win-win. You always know when Mama Maples is near because she leaves open X-Acto knives on the ground. That's her cute little touch. Okay, these are all the bottom cabinets. So these are the ones that we have to prime. So we're gonna start by cleaning them with some TSP. Oh, she ready to clean. Don't let the TSP touch your face. <laughs> All right, you guys, now that they are cleaned, which took quite a while, we're going to fill these holes because the new handles don't fit in that size. So we're just gonna do like some polyfill sand and then we might even get to painting. We are gonna do the primer. Here is the primer we are going to use. This is a Bullseye 123 primer. It's supposed to be really, really good for cabinets. I will let you guys know because I have used a lot of different primers. So if this one is like anything special, I'll let you know. This is my first time using it. I am gonna be wearing my huge like industrial mask just cause I do have a slight, slight allergy. <laughs> slight, <laughs> it's like terrible. But yeah, we're gonna do the insides first. tackle this inside. I gotta peel all of this off of it. And then I have to try and get this off. I'm really, really hoping that this isn't wired in and it's just like set here. We'll see. Got assistance from my dad. Oh, what the? Wow, this looks way better without all that stuff on it. So what do we do about all these? Well, I mean, I Are they dead? You know, I would bet that there's not a lot of voltage here. Would you bet your life? Dad, would you bet mine? These are just little guys. Okay. I don't want my house to light on fire. Oh, there was a spark. Dad! 
god! Uh, Dad, don't. Which one? First coat. Hi, Chip. Me and Mom are getting our toenails done, so we gotta go. <laughs> Two hours later. I just had an awesome idea at 10 o'clock at night to keep painting. There's only one person in this house who's crazy enough to come along with me, and her name is Mom. We went, we got our toenails done, it's 10 o'clock, and now we're ready to paint some more. Okay, for real though, the awesome idea we had is to paint the backs of these so that in the morning we can flip it over, paint the front, and then it has all night to dry. Also, the tarp fell. I need to get that. When two people have a good idea, <laughs> you don't ask questions, you just go. Okay, and we're using the paint. Oh, sorry, my underwear is so <laughs> high up. I put my suit on in like five seconds, right? rushing out here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to the grape. This was my balaclava growing up since I was like two years old. It somehow lasted and stayed in the family. It's been everywhere. Okay girl, just try giving it just a little shake maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well that was fun. Now good night for real. Good morning! Let's look at the cabinets. Ooh, it looks good. That weird 10 o'clock at night want to paint really did pay off. Look at this and then look at the before. Ah. For anybody wondering, my nose is dripping but not the worst it's ever dripped before. So I'm gonna flip all of these and do the first coat on the fronts. In tandem with doing these, just been like, anytime these are drying, going inside and painting the bases of the cabinets. And those are just on priming so far. They take a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with my face? Does it look like that? What? Bring them in here to dry so that we could get spraying the top cabinets. The top cabinets are gonna be green, so I'm very excited for that. But yeah, this is the second coat on the friends here. But now I'm going to set up the other cabinets. These are the ones that I bought, so my fingers are still crossed to make sure they fit based on my measurements, which, you know, woohoo! Now this is where it's gonna get a little bit exciting because these will be green. I believe there should be a lot less top cabinets, okay? So let's hope for that. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? And they're already primed. Okay, I will go load up the spray gun and we will be back. So excited for the green. The green looks white. <laughs> It doesn't look white. I don't know, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Bone up. Wait a second. Is Wait, it white? it's white. <laughs> Last night at the waking hour, 11 o'clock, I went out and did the second coat on the fronts of the green ones. They literally look so white, but I swear next to white, they're green. So I just wanna get started on the backsplash so the ground can set everything. And which black backsplash you may ask? Oh, let me show you. This is a backsplash that caught my attention around three years ago and I've been itching to use it 
Oh my gosh, we love it. But we're gonna start laying these. And when I say we, I mean me and my mom. All right, well, you can take it from here. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, I think I already said this in this video, but if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how to do Max Flashes at home, we've done quite a few now and they've all stood the test of time, so I definitely can give you kind of a tutorial. So what do you think? Like, that wow. close enough? Oh wow, look how that it goes really in close. There. Oh yeah, look at it that. Look at it that. Look at it that. Two seconds later. You guys, we just figured something out about this tile in particular. Is it may look the same on either side, but it's not. There's only one way that it actually all fits together. So thank goodness we figured that out early on. Otherwise we would have had a very wonky pattern. But we got it. The flowers are fitting together. Okay, you guys, so basically our plan of action is just to get all the tiles up today so that they can set overnight and then we can grout in the morning because it usually takes another 24 hours for the grout. It's looking really good, like I really like it, but it is a lot of work and this is the most intricate pattern we've ever done. Shut your phone off. <laughs> Today we are going to grout, which is actually exactly what I was hoping to do, was to finish the backsplash yesterday and then grout today so it could set all weekend. So the grout color that I chose, initially I was thinking maybe I'll grout with green, but then, oh. <laughs> You know what, I'm just gonna stay safe and use like a pearl color. It's kind of like a whitish beige and it dries a little bit more beige. And then if, you know, months from now, I decide I wanna do green, you can just re-grout. Pre-mixed grout, because I don't like mixing grout. A bunch of trays, because I have convinced my family to help me. And a big backsplash to do. Let's do it. Okay. Grout vibes. This is the color, you guys. It's gonna dry, probably even a little darker. I want the flowers to stick out, but our little oops is <laughs> to not. Okay, you guys, it is a few days later. Everything has dried and we're just starting to put the drawer fronts and the cabinet door fronts on. It's quite a lot of work putting these back on, but honestly, it's looking so good. I'm so happy. I will touch back once all the doors are on. That was a bigger job than I was expecting and I already was expecting it to be a bigger job than I was expecting. But they're on. You know, the ones that I measured, some of them aren't a perfect fit but I feel like they weren't perfect to begin with. I can vaguely remember that, so I'm happy with them. Now I wanna show you the handles that I ordered. I got these on Etsy and there were so many choices and I chose three different handles for one kitchen. And when I was ordering them, I was like, oh my goodness, is this too much? But I was like, you know what? Too much is good. So for the drawers, I got these really, really long oversized gold poles. I love an oversized pole. I think this is gonna look really cute and be very functional because it's very large. Here it is. And then there's a few spots that needed knobs and I found these antique knobs on Etsy. They all look a little bit different and they have these flowers on them. Some are pink, some have some blue. I just thought they were gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous knobs for a gorgeous, gorgeous kitchen. And last but certainly not least, we have these butterfly poles 
Yes, look how cute these look. I thought these would be beautiful for the cabinets that meet together and open like this so that it looks like there's butterflies in the kitchen. Yeah. So I got my dad's help with drilling all the holes because we had to re-drill the holes because the new poles didn't fit in the holes of the old poles. So when we were painting, we filled those. I think I showed you that. So I needed his help. And he got a really cool tool to help with it actually, which it's like called a jig, but it's not what I would usually call a jig, but it was this, it was very helpful. Okay, this is the cabinet hardware all put on. Also, the pink door is on. I don't know if I showed that. Cabinet pulls and knobs always really finish everything off. Also, I didn't even mention, I accidentally painted these the wrong color, and I'm trying to see how I feel about it. I kind of think it's fun. It's a mistake for sure, but I'm like, do I like it though? We'll see. The jury's still out on you guys. Okay, but now we're going to attempt to put some shelves on. I've never drilled through tile before, so we'll see. A couple months ago when I was getting everything for the kitchen renovation, because I've been planning it for a very long time, I ordered some custom shelving on Etsy, and I'm so excited to put them up. Let me grab them. Here are those shelves. I am literally an Etsy fiend. I love Etsy, I love the small business vibe. It's amazing and the products are always fabulous. Oh my gosh, so happy though. Check it out, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now let's, doesn't that look great? I have never had open shelving in a kitchen before and I'm so excited. So 46 and a half. What is that? Okay, like now that. take a look. Ooh, that's nice. Will you look at it? Here. <laughs> this is not the way. But I tend to think there is no way. You just have to figure it out. Oh my gosh, hold it like you mean it. Why are you holding it like that? You're like this. <laughs> One of four complete. Here's hoping. Here we go. Let's see you guys. Please tell me it's fitting. Ah! Ah! What's happening? Oh. Two seconds later. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dilemma averted. It looks great. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Looks gorge. Okay, so here's the thing. Now that the whole kitchen is almost complete, the fridge is now really sticking out. So I bought this interesting like vinyl wrap. Here it is. It kind of looks like a whiteboard, but basically people use it to cover cars, but I was reading in the reviews and people were covering tables and like their washing machines. So I was like, let's try it. I'm like kind of interested. So I'm gonna clean the fridge because that's the first step. I'm so excited to see if this works because honestly, if it looks cute, I might just paint it and keep it. I mean, why not, right? Okay, so they said to do two inches extra. So let me pull two inches on this side. Okay. See, two inches. I think that would be lots. This. Oh! Ow! Oh my gosh, it looks stunning. <laughs> oh yes, Mia, that is looking so good. I am gonna wrap my car. In the <laughs> is this a whiteboard? Like, could we literally write all I this? almost wonder. It seems like it could be. When things be working. 
Also, you guys, you can get this in any color. Like, you can get lavender, pink, yellow, red, whatever. All right, you guys, it's all stuck on. Now, apparently, you can like heat wrap it, so. I don't think the fridge is gonna look amazing from all angles, but I want to try and put this paint over the handle pieces, just cause now I feel like the handle pieces are really jumping out at me. So I'm gonna paint them, which means my nose is gonna drip for the next four days. But you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it, right mom? It is. Shoo-ba-doo-wop-wop, wop wop shoo wop wop Shoo-ba-doo-wop-wop, ba da ba ba da I'm so tempted to paint checkers on it. That'd be fun. You know, my table that I'm painting. Sand the wood, sand the, sand the tabletop down to something, and then <laughs> it. it might be a little too excessive. Oh, wow! <laughs> I should stop. I should stop. I really should stop. I should not be doing this. I should not be doing this. <laughs> It definitely doesn't like pull your attention to it anymore. It lets everything go and have its moment. Honestly, this was like super, super easy to apply. I think the cutting was a little bit more difficult. I definitely am glad we did it. I don't know how durable this paint will be. I would probably seal that if you were gonna be keeping it for a really long time. Honestly, you guys, the fridge was way more successful than I was expecting. I kind of just did that because I bought that white tack paper, but it worked really well. So now I wanna decorate the shelves. I have been collecting things for months. Look at just a few of the cute things I got. Etsy, these little wool beads. Look how cute that is. Oh, I don't know, maybe a sad peach sugar holder. <laughs> yes. I was planning out my wedding place settings, so I have some extra bud vases with flowers in them. So I think that'll look really good. A couple weeks ago, I was shopping at this small business and there was this adorable yellow colander. Green! I love it. Like I think a few kind of set out might be nice. I got a few of these on Etsy, on Facebook Marketplace. These are so hard to find. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, I should put some of my corning wear up there too. This adorable toaster, obviously that needs to be out. I also got a custom made plant pot by a artisan on Etsy or Instagram, and I wanted it to be inspired by Chip. So that's gotta go out there too. This I'm actually a little bit scared to put up here because they were given to me by my grandmothers. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's like the most delicate thing ever. This, I was so careful with this. I didn't even put it in the moving truck. I just like carried it myself. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Isn't that fabulous? This is from my grandma on my mom's side. And I believe it was her mom's or her grandma's. So it's super, super old. So I really wanted that to be displayed. But I'm also extremely scared to display this because if it breaks, I will scream and shout and cry. Oh my God, I'm kind of afraid. Oh my gosh, and this. Oh, so many things to be careful of. This is from my other grandma, so on my dad's side. She knows she got it from her mom, so my great grandma, and it's really pretty. Okay, so my dad's mom collects pigs and this was like, a very important pig. I can literally remember this from when I was like super young, seeing this in her china cabinet. And so she gave it to me last summer. I really, really love antiques. So my grandmas kind of enjoy giving me their antiques so that I can display them and like cherish them. So if this comes crashing down, you're gonna be hearing from my lawyers. Okay, you guys, give us a minute. Okay, you guys, we've got nothing extra done, but we were looking for pictures because I have a few pictures. Hold on, let me show you this one. Now I'm getting all excited. This is my favorite part, decorating. I got this bread picture from Etsy, but 
I was looking for a frame and my mom came across. Look how cute that is. Now there is a story behind this. Mom, <laughs> would you please do me the honors? I will. I love this picture for one thing. It was in my grandma's farmhouse. I would have a snack and eat at her nice table and I'd be looking at those kids in that picture thinking that they're having the best time and I'd be like, isn't that awesome? They're eating pizza and they're having a great time. <laughs> and then it wasn't until many years later that I see it's actually peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it's called after school she's like what do you want from the farmhouse and this is what I got and now I gave it to you and because you're... I really liked it mm -hmm. and it wasn't always in this frame you guys I think was this off of like a cereal box or something it was a calendar picture yeah so this was from a calendar and then it was in this really beat up frame and just since moving here we put it in this big frame but I don't even know how these things survive because it was just it's just like a thin piece of paper yeah great grandma like... was fantastic yeah <laughs> totally she I'm so awesome. glad that you are finding a nice place for it in your kitchen oh yeah like, girl. I love that picture it still makes me smile every time I see it okay back I'll see you in a minute for real okay you guys behind me is the most gorgeous in my humble opinion set of shelves decorated. <laughs> this is not amazing. We have a few things we need to do. We need to put the light switch covers on. We need to do some siliconing around the base and the base of the cabinets. But tomorrow, I'm gonna dress up to match the kitchen and we will do the grand reveal. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, I love the way this turned out. I'm dying to see the before and after. Let's take a look. I always dread it a little bit because I would say the kitchen takes the most work Especially when you're doing it all at home and like by hand like we did this backsplash Was a lot of work. We have done backsplashes before but we have never taken on an intricate flower shape It was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, but it was totally worth it. I think it turned out amazing. And if you guys can remember what the backsplash was before, this one definitely like opens up the kitchen. It's a lot brighter and it makes it feel a lot bigger in here. And I mean, looking at these shelves, I am filled with happiness. I got all my favorite antiques, all my favorite pieces. Actually, I don't have all my favorites, but they will go throughout the house too. I have a few of my favorites here. The fridge was actually kind of an afterthought because I do hope to get a different fridge where the freezer is on the bottom. But I'm happy we covered it because before it was like it would really grab your attention, whereas now it blends a lot better. And this was just a really quick DIY. I am super thrilled with how this makeover turned out. When I think about how I thought of it in my head, this is even better. I'm super excited about the color palette. It's very whimsical and like fairy vibes, which you guys know I love that. But yeah, so here is the kitchen makeover. I know it is not perfect, but I must admit, I do love it. I'm interested to hear what your guys' favorite parts are, and I don't wanna hear anything negative. I don't want to. My hands have been permanently dry for the last week and a half from grouting these tiles, so I don't wanna hear it. Okay, but for real, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!